Autism Talks brought to you by the Mel Loves Monks channel and MBM Productions. Sometimes in life, you have to open your heart a bit. Now, what I mean by is, is that open to new possibilities. Like, I have know you guys out there say to me, like, um, you've been bullied or hurt badly. And I understand that. Like, I've been down that very dark, dark, dark road before. And I understand how you feel. And I'm trying to get past that because that's in the past. And we're looking towards the future now. So... That's over and done with still. It kind of not haunts you, but it's still there. Like you remember the time you got bullied. You remember girls were mean to you because of your looks, because, you know, you're pretty did it, prettier than them or something like that. And, yeah, it is hard to open your heart. And it's also hard when you're hurt. I've been hurt lots and lots of times. And you're thinking, how does she do it? Like, how does she power through it? Well, I've got supportive people around me who um, tell me not to give up on socialising with other people, to um, try their best to socialise with other, other people, even though, even though they don't socialise back, you still have to give a little bit of effort. And I've socialised so many times with other people, they just don't really understand how much I try to socialise with other people. And you got to open your heart to new possibilities like I got I got this app on my phone I mean I talk to like teenagers all around all around not all around the world but all around Australia because I live in Australia and um yeah um I've signed myself up to that app and it's been pretty good most most of them are boys but that doesn't matter anyway they're people who you can talk to so you know like I said communication is the the thing you have to have because from me learning, you know, you know how some teenagers, you know how some teenagers say uh, what you're doing or what's up in different abbreviations. Yeah, I've learned how to. I know what they're trying to say. I don't. I don't use abbreviations when I text. Like I just say Instagram. Um, how are you doing? What are you doing? Do you like this? Do you like that? Something like that. So other teenagers abbreviate stuff, and I know what that means. So now I'm just like, Insta. Um, what you're doing, stuff like that. So when you talk to other people, it helps your communication levels more communicated. And it's good in the way because, you know, like I said, I don't really have a lot of friends. I do have my friends from outside of school, but in school, I don't like, you know. And yeah, I mean, I've got I've got some friends, but I'm not really close to them. Like I kind of see them and just say hey to them and stuff like that. But I don't really have any actual close friends in my school. But outside of school, but at, but outside of school, I do have really two close friends who have always been there for me and stuff like that. So you know, like, um, yeah. So, like I said, like I've been hurt a thousand times, and I understand you want to give up, but you can't give up. You know, life is full of ups and downs, and. Life is crazy sometimes and we have no idea why, you know. We don't know why mean girls are mean to us. We don't know why people bully us because we're different. And even though we're different colours of skin or black or whatever, what from what from nation we come from, it doesn't matter. Like, they still bully us even though we're different. And in that regard, that's really, really, um, really awful and stupid and I understand how you feel because I've been bullied I can't really tell you the story because I'll get really emotional but I've been bullied I've been there with mean girls I started these autism talks because I wanted to make the world a better place for other people and I think it's working I'm not really exactly sure but you know like I said you just got to open your heart to different people and you know I've, I've tried and I've just come stumbled down so you know but you know, you just you just got to open your heart a bit to um, new possibilities out there, um, new socialising, wherever it's from. You know, you know what? My mom tells me this all the time. You know, school is very hard to make friends and trust me, it is. Only because school is about education and learning and stuff. And for me at the moment, the most important thing I'm focusing on is education and learning. Like I see people like I know I say hi, but I don't really hang out with them, you know, because we're not really close together. But, um, you know, outside of school is more 
outside of school. So it's easier to make friends outside of school than in school. So just remember that, you know, you know, um, you, see, you might see people um, at school hanging out. That doesn't mean they're, well, I don't know. That doesn't mean that, um, you know, like I say, oh, how come I can't have those friends? Like, you know, like you got to think, <laughs> you got to think um, carefully about this because like I said, you've got to be careful what you wish for because if you have a lot of friends, we talked about this in my last time, if you have a lot of friends, you're going to make time for them and you got to balance that out. Like I'm still balancing, I'm still trying to balance that out, but I figured it out. So I can have both, like I can have time to myself and also have time for my friends, which I have do in regards. And I just trying to like say um, bye to them and I have to abbreviate what I say. I say, oh, I have to go because um, dinner's ready or lunch is ready, stuff like that. So I'm still trying to figure out how to hang up on people. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, this is all new to me. Like, you know, like you don't like you don't see me when I'm in my bedroom, but um, I don't really, I don't really, um, I don't, I usually use my phone at school because I don't bring my iPad. Well, my iPad Pro is pretty special, so, you know, but like I said, we're getting on track. What I'm trying to say is open your heart to new possibilities, and um, if you get sad and, um, sorry, okay, so like I said, open your heart a bit to people. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, um, I'm not saying high hopes, like you should, I'm trying not to have high hopes about some things in life, like, you know, because high hopes kind of brings you down, so I'm trying, to have, I'm trying not to have high hopes, you know, about it, I'm just trying, it's like, okay, I'll open my heart to that and we'll see how it goes, like, I'm just, I'm just chill with it, like, you know, you don't have to extravagantly open, open, open your heart, like, like that, like, you know, don't make, like, like a full scene on at school or wherever you are, just take, just take some steps in a time, look, trust me, you know, it's, like, it takes time to open your heart, trust me, I've had the same problem, I've, like, like I said, we've talked about cutting people off, um, you, when, when they're mean, it's okay, but you can't cut people off just because they're nice, or just because they're different, or just because they have learning problems, you know, it doesn't really work like that, so, you know, so it does, it, your heart just doesn't mend overnight, no, it doesn't work like that, it's not in the movies, okay, your heart takes a lot of healing to do when you feel hurt, and I've been there, trust me, if you could have seen me, like, where I used to live in the country home, um, yeah, I was crying, and emotional, and a bit upset, and my heart was really, really hurting, and I understand what it's like. And I had that same feeling with, with my, with, well, they're not my friends anymore. But I, I see them sometimes. But I I still have kind of, I still felt hurt when they left me out. And that's what makes me emotional and just, you know. But, but saying that, it's all past me, you know. Um, it's time to begin a new chapter. So like I said. Just open your heart a bit. It, it doesn't hurt. Like I said, I, I get it. Like, you know, it's hard to open your heart to new things just because you've been hurt or burned down. Like, I understand that. And it doesn't, and it, it does not take overnight. It takes time. And I have time to come to my senses and you should too. So just don't, you know, think high hopely or think the fully open to it. Just say, just just chill out and say, I'm open to it. Like, if it doesn't work, it's okay. You know, some things are meant not to work out for people. And it's true, you know. So, yeah. So, like I said, open your heart a bit. I know what it's like. Trust me, I've been there. Okay? So, that's all I've got time for, guys. Um, bye. And make sure to like and hit subscribe for awesome videos with Mill Loves Monks.